Hey guys, what's up? This is Edgemeister and welcome back to another Halo 5 Forge video. So today we're on the PC again. Yeah. So I'm gonna this will be the third upload of the day if I do upload this today. So yeah, let's um let's kind of get this show on the road here. So today we're gonna do two things. We're gonna look at vehicle welding and prefabs. So first of all, we're gonna look at just this fat phaeton. And I, something that I figured out with the um Halo 5 Forge on PC glitch here. There is a button to descend, which is control. There's no ascend, so you can't really get any higher with the Phaeton, so. Yeah, I think the Phaeton is a little bit glitched out, so. Yeah, there's that problem there. Uh, anyways, let's look at prefabs and then vehicle welding. Um, actually, let's do vehicle welding first, because that is a bit more simple now. Um, so. Let's just go ahead and spawn in a vehicle. So let's go gameplay. Uh, not weapons, no, we need to go vehicles. Uh, vehicles. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, weld a wasp here. Cause I think a wasp would be a really cool thing to weld. So let's just stick a wasp over there. And just for, uh, you know, making life easier, let's just put this guy on phased. And just in preparation, let's take this, um, Camera distance, which is a brand new thing to forge. Uh, you can edit with vehicles. And let's stick the scout to four. Five is the max. Uh, four is probably even too much. So let's uh, look at what we can spawn in now. So let's, oops. Uh, let's go over to uh, structures. And I'm gonna go ahead and use something here. I'm gonna use a, just, you know, a nice wall here. And let's just rotate this bad boy. What I like to do sometimes is this. I don't know why. But yeah, let's just put, place this guy here for now. Actually, no. Let's let's put him on the wings because that's that's cool. I just realized that there's no phaeton up and down. There is no wasp up and down either. So yeah, that is a bit of a problem. Um. But anyways, let's just stick that there. So what you can do now is just select all three of them, and then just you can weld group group right there. Bam. Magical, right? And you just have to make sure that it's on normal and that, um, whoops, the parent is the wasp. I don't know if the parent matters anymore. Actually, let's test that. Let's put the parent as the wall and let's see if uh, it works just fine. Um, it looks like it's working, but it's normal physics. Okay, let's put the parent as a wasp now. Let's see, it should probably work better now, right? Okay, yeah, it does. Sweet. So, because the parent still has to be the uh, the thing, but like I said, there is no up up option unless I'm um, wrong and there is some sort of up option. Then there is one. But anyways, yeah, that's that's really easy vehicle weld just like that now it's amazing it's so simple okay so now let's look at prefab so I have a few more vehicle uh, welded things that I have made into prefabs uh, it was in my one of my maps before so what you do is you just come here and go prefabs this is actually my first time doing it so now I have it set to be owned by Edgemeister here so I have these three guys right here Whee! Uh, of course, you can also go search filters and you can uh, take that off and just look at prefabs. So let's spawn in someone else's here first. Uh, there's mine. So I'm uh, one of the few people who have this on PC. So there we go. Uh, let's see what we should spawn in. Blue spawn column. Broken building wide. Let's spawn in a broken building here. So this is this guy's prefab. Let's just drop it onto the map, like right there. Okay. And bam! Look at this amazing broken building I built, guys. No, but seriously, this is... Oh man, this um, it's gonna make things so much easier here. Uh, so this kind of looks like it's for like some sort of like Call of Duty Zombies-esque map thing here, with uh, things like that. Oh, by the way, sandbags, also a new feature. Ooh, do they put the uh, gravity things on there? Or is that a gravity lift? I 
can't tell. Um, okay, yeah, it is. But it's just to the bottom there, and yet it does push you up like boom. Okay, that's crazy. Okay, so it, it's just as easy as that. Let's spawn in my prefabs now. And let's make a prefab. So this Phaeton here, I want to make this into prefab, okay? So you just come over here, save as new, and then uh, tests, I'm delete deleting this soon. Oh, soon. Okay, that works too. So there you go, and I just saved the prefab. Whoops. So what I can do actually is I can go into prefabs, I went by Edgemeister, and I can just spawn in another one right here. So just uh, drop prefab. And you can do this with anyone's item. So um, until I delete this, if you guys go on PC, you can go ahead and download this. Woo! So yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's drop in uh, my X-Wing here. Okay, maybe I, I need to make sure that's not selected. Okay. Whoops. Let's um, drop the prefab. So this is my X-Wing fighter. So let's kind of just drop it over there. And let's make our way over there. So this is my X-Wing. Let's hop into this guy. Whoop. He's kind of glitching out here. There we go. Here is my X-Wing. I know it's not anything to write home about. It's not even the best X-Wing out there. But oh boy, is that ever amazing. Okay. So let's drop in another one of my uh, things here now. So let's go over here, prefabs. And let's drop in the Falcon here. Drop it. So there is my falcon, so let's just place him down there. And let's get this show on the road. Guys, it's the Millennium Falcon. Oh baby. Would you look at that? Um yeah, so this does this is a lot better now that you can zoom things out. Um I don't know, I'm gonna save this map afterwards and you guys can go on Xbox and check it out. Uh, see how these work. Because uh, I know this is kind of a glitch right now. You can. You can kind of see what everything is like on it. Like, you can, I can spawn in the Nord Fang on this and you'll be able to pick it up on Xbox. I'm pretty sure. So, if you want to test it out, I'll save this map. You guys can go on Xbox right away and download it. First is dropped in our last prefab, which is the TIE Fighter. And where'd you spawn? Did you even spawn? I don't know if you spawned, man. Come on. There we go. There is me TIE Fighter. So again, this is one that I made before that's not very too detailed. Let's just jump on it though. Wee, and I can use a temple thing. I can use temple things now, so you can uh, shoot while you boost. I think that'd be really cool to do. But yeah, let's get out of this. I'm just gonna spawn in the uh, Nord Fang, and then you guys can go ahead and save this map and see if you can use Nord Fang. Uh, so let's. Also, I believe. Uh, I can actually spawn in. Where the hell is the. Yeah, I should be able to spawn in stuff like the Gunfighter Magnum, and you guys should be able to use that as well. Let's put that right, right there. And let's just mess with some settings here. Let's just put this timer down to one. And. Spare clips to 16. Okay, perfect. And now let's spawn in the Nord Fang and let's see if you guys can use it. So, so the uh, Gunfighter Magnum, I believe, is in the game right now on Xbox, so you should be able to use that. Uh, we know for sure that the Nord Fang is in the Xbox version, so let's just. Uh, whoops. Time it out to 1. And spare clips to 16. Let's put 
this guy down. Okay. Um, so go ahead and try to pick these things up on Xbox. I will save the map right now. It's called Test for PC, I think I believe. But yeah. Perfect, huh? So you go ahead and comment if you got this. I'm just not going to even turn on the Xbox until the update comes out on there. Because why the hell do that when I can mess with all this amazing stuff right now on PC? So. Oh man, that quick draw. Alright, so I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye bye.